Hi, I'm Jim Mooney, Training Manager at Prominent Fluid Controls. We're going to review the Universal Control Cable. So you'll see the Universal Control Cable has five wires, a black, a brown, a blue, a white, and a gray. We're going to go over those functions for each of those. The first control is the Start Stop button. So once we press the Start Stop button, you'll see the word Stop will go away from the display. Once we close the brown wire to the black wire, the word Pause goes away the pump starts running. Here we're in the manual mode. Manual mode means we're manually dictating what the frequency of the pump is. We need this closed in all modes of operation. The next mode of operation that we'll go through is the contact mode of operation. To program the pump to the contact mode of operation by pressing and holding the P key, we look for the word mode with the up or down arrow buttons once mode is flashing, we press the P key again quickly. Now we scroll with the up or down arrow button again until the word contact flashes. We press the P key once. Now the pump is in the contact mode of operation. To initiate the contact mode of operation, we need the white wire to short to the black wire, which is in contact again with the brown wire. That's our pause function. So every time we press this button, it's going to short our white wire to that black wire, which is contacted to the brown wire. One contact in, the pump strokes one time. We can manipulate that ratio with other options on the pump. The next mode of operation we'll talk about is the analog mode of operation. Typically that's a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So again, we press and hold the P key until we see the word mode flashing. We use the up or down arrow buttons if something else comes up. Press P at mode. Now we scroll again with the up or down arrow key until we see the word analog flashing. We press the P key once quickly and we're in the analog mode of operation. Then we have to put an analog signal, typically four to 20 milliamps, into our pump. Now we have to put that input signal into our universal control cable. So we'll connect the negative of that signal to the black wire, which again is made to the brown wire with a dry contact, and the positive of that signal goes to the blue wire back to the pump. So right now we're sending 4 milliamps. You can see 4 milliamps. Once the pump is at 4 milliamps, you'll see that it's going to stroke zero times. We increase that to a quarter of the range, say 8 milliamps, and the pump responds to that accordingly. We increase again half the range, it's going to run at approximately half the speed. 16 milliamps, which is three quarters, goes up to three quarters of the range. And ultimately at 20 milliamps, it has the pump run at its maximum speed. Again, if we open the contact between the brown wire and the black wire, the pump goes into a pause, but the loop is still maintained. We still see 20 milliamps through that circuit. So if we had more than one pump, we could stop one pump independent of the other pump just by opening the dry contact between the brown wire and the black wire. The last thing we'll talk about is the auxiliary frequency. The auxiliary frequency lets us override any of the signals that we have going into the pump and run at a predetermined speed. So when we short the gray wire here to the black wire, which again, made to the brown wire, it's going to override our current signal, which is telling the pump to run at its maximum speed, and we run at this predetermined frequency. Here we predetermined that we wanted, once the gray wire is made to the black wire, through again a dry contact, we want the pump to run at 23 strokes per minute. And that is a summary of our universal control cable.